What's up guys, this is Keith Kelfis with the Landscaping Employee Trap and in this video, I call up my friend Brandon because I've got a property maintenance job. It's a customer, a client, but the client has all of these uh, ornamental trees and gigantic arborvitae shrubs that need to be trimmed and topped. And I just can't do it with machines that I have. And I'm not set up to the point where I need to go buy like a $70,000 spider lift. I would only need it like a couple times a year, right? So here we are on this job working and I'll put like a little card up here. I'll put a link below. Last year, we tried to do the same exact job and I rented out a, a nifty lift, like a hydraulic spider lift from this local equipment rental place and the thing straight up broke down on me right in the middle of the job site. Then I tried to get it back the next day, but it rained four days in a row. I couldn't finish the job as far as topping these 32 foot tall Arbor Fighty shrubs. 32 feet tall, how, how tall these shrubs are. And the customer wants them dropped down by like six to eight feet. say this is about uh, 30 40 minutes worth of work here uh, as you can see we can be extremely accurate uh, with the lift uh, versus being on a ladder and uh, safety is is definitely a high priority of ours uh, as you can see we're in a harness hard hat all that good stuff uh, not much left uh, we got to go back over this though uh, and get the little stragglers and stuff with the hedge trimmers and clean it up and tighten up the sides and stuff yet uh, But it should look really good after we're done uh, Like I said quite a bit uh, Almost uh, eight foot now Using our power pole saw for this uh, It's a smaller one, so it's a little easier to handle. Here we go. I went back over those few just a little uh, that's always a rule of thumb when we're up here uh, take a little bit less uh, see where you're at and you can always take more uh, you just can't put it back yeah? I call up Brandon Brandon's a pro tree guy. He's been doing tree work his whole life. He's very experienced and uh, educated. And I actually met Brandon through Chris Sovel, my other friend. You see Chris in my videos. So I'm on a job with Chris Sovel about a month ago with Brandon's there too, because Chris will call us out as subcontractors whenever he gets like a huge HOA or a complex and we'll just all team up. I'll just tackle a big complex together. Well, I know that Brandon is Chris's friend and Brandon's got the spider lift thing. And so I get Brandon's number and Chris is like, why are you, why are you, are you trying to take my contacts, bro? Huh? You trying to take my, my, this is my tree guy contacts. Like, but Brandon's got his own company. Chris is just joking, but I'm like, Brandon, dude, I got this client who has these crazy 32 foot tall bushes and we literally can't reach him. I have a 16 foot orchard ladder. I tried to rent out a machine. He's like, dude, I got you. He's like, how, I'm like, how much is your day rate? And he tells me. So I just mark it up to the client. We 
because the client needs it done and that's what it costs. And so we literally meet up and Brandon just crushes it. I got to go up in the spider lift too, which is really dope. And at first it's kind of, you're kind of nervous up there. Like you feel like the thing is gonna tip when you're in it. Like Brandon does it no problem. And I've operated a nifty lift. I've operated a bucket truck before, but this thing's just different. It's intimidating when you're up in it because it feels like it's gonna tip, but it's not gonna tip, right? We're taking turns. I'm, I'm up here trimming these big horn beam trees. Yo, I actually wanted to take a minute to show trimming these horn beam trees. Uh, full disclaimer, you're not supposed to put hedge trimmers on trees. It's bad for the tree for a whole slew of reasons. And, you know, I'm making up the excuse that this is what the customer wants. They want their backyard to look all fresh and crispy like this. And uh, maybe it's okay with a horn beam tree because it is like just a monster shrub and I see it done everywhere. But we're doing it. And... But anyways, I'm up in the spider lift here and see how I'm all the way on the right side of the spider lift with the machine. Like it was pretty hard to maneuver to get over. I didn't understand, but you see how the, the boom is actually pressed up into the shrubs. See how it was pressed in there. That was what I had to do to get as far as I could on the right side. Now I'm going to go up. I'm trying to get out there. I was like, how do I do this? By the end of this video, I actually got the hang of it. It takes about an hour, and then once you get the hang of it, it's fun. You realize you can do so much more, but that machine is like, I think, $72,000. So I've toyed around with the idea of getting one a few times. You know how you stay up at night looking on equipment dealers, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. But this machine is Italy from Italy. Uh, you can get it from all access equipment, Brandon said. And it's on back order and it probably takes like months to get it. I guess it's like anything else. Once you get used to it, it's easy. It takes a uh, a lot of awareness but I don't know how to set it down and I don't want to mess anything up so I'm gonna go get Brandon and he can do that part I'm listening to a new audiobook about gaslighting a psychology term for it. well you gotta find out so he trimmed about six feet down reducing the tops from the front and the shrubs grew like this as they went higher towards the back by the time he got to the back he was removing 10 feet of these shrubs just to bring these things down to a manageable size and we filled up my dump trailer to the top tippy top and then the neighbor came out and wanted their birch tree trimmed so we ended up trimming that for like 500 bucks too and uh so this job was like 2300 to trim up the ornamental trees and top them and then also to trim up all the shrubs and top them and clean up the whole job site so we did like 2800 bucks here we are picking up boards these pieces of plywood and we're carrying it and we're putting it down on the grass so brandon can drive the crawler machine across the customer's lawn and not destroy the customer's lawn so it keeps everything nice and safe and so he carries these plywood uh, on his trailer everywhere he goes and that's part of a great customer service is not destroying people's lawns here's where brandon is up inside of the crawler and this machine is from italy the shrubs are growing lopsided like they're like about 25 feet 28 feet but they hit 20 they hit 32 feet tall by the time they get to the back of the property so he's cutting a perfect straight line where did you get this machine and what is it called uh, this is actually a crawler is the maker uh, they come from Italy uh, there is a dealer called all access in Boston Massachusetts uh, you can order through them uh, they ship it over from Italy all right that's all cool we picked up the neighbor trimming up the neighbor's birch tree real quick and um, 
yeah, that's the end of this vlog. I'm so excited because my new book came out called Your First Year in the Landscaping Business. You gotta check it out. Click the link in the description below this video.